Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Something I usually haven't done for the channel, and that's visit the Korean version. So, the reason I'm on this version right now is to pretty much show you guys the new update that's coming. Or at least try and look into it, because I was a little bit curious about it. I haven't looked up anything else yet. I only got the pages ready for the, the websites and everything, so we can look at it together. So, right off the bat, this... This right here kind of reminded me of Pluto at first. So I was thinking, is Pluto getting a trance? But no, he isn't. This is actually called the Arc Buster from what I have heard. So it actually looks pretty similar to Pluto. So that's why I thought it was him. But let's go ahead and uh, visit the site and see what's up. God, why is it so small? All right, guys, got it fixed. Now we can just scroll on down, look at some stuff. Now get like a gist of it. Seems like there's some trans going around. Uh, what else? Some triple S's. Okay, I'm pretty sure I cannot start this video or it's gonna crash the emulator. So let's avoid that. <laughs> but if you guys wanna watch that yourselves, I'm pretty sure there is like a lot of them like around. So prologue, there seems to be a new story coming. All right, so that's a bigger look at him. He looks pretty sick. But he does definitely remind me of uh, Pluto. He's probably like a better design of him. We'll see. We just need to read like the actual updates and everything. Something about Ultimate 5 and yeah, just a whole bunch of trans being given out. But yeah, instead of looking at that, we're going to take a look at the page instead. Now, this is the actual page that I had uh, found on Wiki. Now, I'm normally on this Wiki like most of the time, just because I always try to find like really good characters that I think will fit my party. And I can't believe I missed this. I have not been in the updates yet. Until I got like a recommendation of somebody else like showing it off, I was just like, what the hell is this? So I just went to here and just found this. So. New story, okay. Farm changes, burning gauge system. Uh, so is our normal farming changing? Well, going to change in the future? Let's see. Farming system to reduce the famish during farming sessions and still gain high efficiency in a short amount of time. It will automatically apply when farming in normal dungeon. Okay. Sufficient gold requirement increase, ally increase, item increase. Okay, that's pretty cool. The gauge seems to replace the old XP bar at the bottom of the screen. So, we're just gonna. Alright, so where's our XP bar gonna be then? Huh. Alright, so. Yeah, it's Arc Buster. Or Arch Buster. Alright, we got two pages to look through. Don't worry, guys. Archangel transforms into a giant robot fused with the power of Odin. Ten pilots pilot a Arch Buster and engage a battle with a space monster? So this is the space monster. Okay, that's what it was. So... Pretty much what you're saying is we're about to be Power Rangers in this bitch. Okay, so we're... <laughs> it's like that? That's gonna be pretty cool and interesting. Alright, so... Events. So this is the events. Mission for all players to gain tickets include... One ultimate trans for pre-order equals one ultimate trans for pre-register, one ultimate trans for updating after patch, five ultimate trans Dracos after the patch. Jesus, so many trans. One ultimate trans after through special mission. One ultimate trans. Okay, so this is pretty for much for new players that come in. 
this is pretty much for everyone. And this is pretty much for returning players. Okay. Basically, everybody's gonna have a shit ton of ultimate trans. That's like extremely generous. Okay, I could watch the promotional video here. Hold on. Let me quiet this down. Okay, that looks... Alright, that looks pretty dope. I like it. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're done with that page. Uh, this is the second page. Um, reduce barrier to entry for new players. Okay, so that's basically just to help new players who come into the game out. And... Oh yeah, the whole farming system. It seems like this is like a lot more in-depth. Players can use burning points to get six time of farming. All right, so it's just pretty much helping you out on like getting like better items from your farming. All right, that makes sense. Yeah, these are a lot more detailed. Okay, lore requirements. Trans system changed. Uh, okay. Oh, they took away the key. We have removed the key as requirement. So. Pretty much what you need is just trans essence. That's that's literally it. You don't even need uh, the key anymore. All right. So what's gonna? Then what are the point of the keys anymore? I guess the keys are just there as placeholders. Why you just level these guys up? I guess they're still useful for something. It's not like ultimately useful, but eh, they're there. Okay. Harvest can be boarded by 10 trans allies, and different allies boarded will give the Art Buster different skills. Wow, okay, that actually sounds pretty interesting. I cannot wait for this. Once Art Buster reaches ultimate plus 3, it will change to the body frame enhancement stage. Okay, boarded allies will be able to require dedicated body frame enhancement skills to enhance the relevant skill and stats require enhancement of okay this is this is interesting all right so they remove okay so these are no longer play only trans can be acquired this this is gonna be weird I wonder how this is gonna work. We'll see. Okay, everyday one time quota. Okay, that's that's just for them. We don't like have those right now. Okay, so this seems like new gear. You can acquire every day from a dungeon from the Red King. Every part of the Red King gear comes with a dedicated skill can be used together with existing gear. All right, so this has me interested. The dedicated skills, which actually gets me wondering what are they gonna have? I guess we'll see during the update, whenever it comes to them. New challenge, Beast Band Fortress. Dungeon comes with nine stages. Okay, so stage three, six, and nine have bosses. Number nine is the final boss. Clearing will reward you dark magic scrolls. Hmm. Dungeon can be repeated. Okay, but every time it costs like two shoes. Wait, what? Always miss important events? No worries for missing out on Guild Siege and Guild Battle. Just preset your party. The system will automatically send them out to the Wow, okay, that's, uh, I wish we had that right now, but no, that's going to be cool when it comes out. So yeah, here's the easier dev, uh, newer players get at least four of them, returning player gets three, resisting player gets two, and, huh, wait, hold up, 
Did I read that wrong? I must have. Yeah, we just get three. We just get to choose from these five. It's pretty much what I think it is? At least I think so. I, I don't know. But, guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I can show you. But, I hope you guys enjoyed. I need to grab some of this stuff that just went into my bag. But what I can what I can say is that the whole like update thing is going to be quite interesting to see. And especially going to be interesting to see people make videos on it because I'm actually curious at how this is going to work. Now, I'm not really like the best at explaining things or exploring things to you guys. So you guys probably have like a better chance with another YouTuber who does Dragon Blades videos and knows what everything is going on. Because I don't really know everything that's going on and I don't read Korean. I just... <laughs> I actually just memorize where everything is at this point. Just because I played the global version so much, I could just pretty much know what I need to do and where I need to go. So, yeah. That's just pretty much it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time on the next video. Until then, peace out.